Good morning everybody, this is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog on green building and building science. Exciting day today, we're doing some free testing on a remodel project that my company is just about to start. Uh, this is a detuscanizing uh, remodel we're doing on about a 10 year old house. Uh, we're here in Westlake, a suburb of Austin, Texas. And uh, I've got with me today principal architect uh, Tim Brown. Tim is with Pioneer Designs and Tim's uh, company does a lot of my testing, energy testing and modeling and today Tim is going to be performing both a blower door test and a duct blast test on this house so we can get a benchmark on how efficient this house is prior to us starting the uh, demo phase and then when he comes back and tests it again we'll be able to see how much more efficient uh, we made this house. So Tim, uh, we're about to perform the blower, uh, pardon me, the uh, duct blast test. Right. Can you tell us what we're doing here? Sure. The duct blaster will determine how much leakage we have in the duct system. So when we look at the ducts, usually they're laying in an uh, uninsulated attic. Mm -hmm. So if you have leaky ducts, you have all your air conditioning dumping out into your unconditioned space mm -hmm. and not into your home where you want to keep it cool. Exactly. So the first thing we do when we come out, we look at the units to determine the tonnage and that'll tell us how many CFMs are going to be on average moving through the duct system. Mm -hmm. So we know what to set our equipment up at. And then we come in and we seal all of the the registers, which John Mark is doing here, um, so we can get a closed system to determine exactly where those leaks occur. So we seal all of the registers, and then in one of the registers we install a pressure tube so we can get a pressure difference from the, the duct system itself to the fan to the actual room okay. that we're testing in. And then we'll be able to tell the delta or the difference in pressure between exactly. them. Exactly. Got it. And then that will give us how many CFMs are, are leaking out mm -hmm. compared to what should be moving through the duct. And then what are we hooked up to here? What's going on here, Tim? So you hook the fan up to the return side. Okay. And we're actually depressurizing the system and pulling air into it. It's a little more accurate than pushing it out. Got it. So the fan will depressurize the system for us. It's hooked directly to the return air. We pull the filter out to, block, to take out any blockage that might uh, result in. Mm -hmm. And then we have a manometer here. This will measure the pressure. Why don't you zoom on this for us? Let's show you what this looks like. This will measure the pressure in the duct system, the, which is the white tube here is going into the register. Okay. The green tube is measuring the CFM pressure moving across the fan. And then this red tube is just getting an ambient pressure in the room itself. That's your reference, so to speak. Exactly. Let's fire up the fan. I want to see what this guy looks like. Okay. So we'll take it to... 25 pascals on this side, and that's the duct depressurization. Okay, it's going to get loud here, so you're not going to hear us for a minute. So we're at 28 pascals right now. He's dropping the span speed down a little bit. Try and get to 25 pascals. So we're real close for 25.4. Right. And then what's the other gauge telling us here? That is how many CFMs are leaking from the system. Got it. So this is 161 CFMs leaking uh, through the ductwork basically in the attic on this house. Right. And again, Tim mentioned this house was uh, insulated very traditionally on the flat ceiling above us. And so it's got a blown in fiberglass up there. And so this 160 CFMs is actually blowing into the attic. Right. So then from this, then how are you calculating what the percent loss is? So this system that we're testing is three Talk and a half about tons. It. Talk about it. It's three and a half tons. And um, a normal system is 400 CFMs per ton. So three and a half times 400, we're looking at 1,400 CFMs. So we just take the 161. And that would be the average, uh, or I'm sorry, the percentage of the 1,400. Got it. So we're getting about 11.5 percent leakage. Got it. Let's turn the fan off again. So at 11.5 percent leakage, uh, as you know, in the city of Austin, uh, I think it was in January of this year, maybe it was uh, mid middle of last year. We actually have to test all homes in the city of Austin, uh, both new construction and remodel, where we're doing HVAC work. And what is the uh, requirement through city of Austin on uh, percent leakage maximum? 10% or less. Okay, so we're actually just a little above that. We're, right. uh, we're about 1.5% or so too high on this house to begin with right. at this benchmark stage. 
And uh, I didn't build this house originally, we're coming in to remodel it. My contractor I use most of the time is uh, Airwright uh, and Gilbert and his crew, uh, as you've been out testing, what would you say most of my new systems average on duct leakage? Most of them are around 4 to 6 percent and I've seen some of them lower and actually the guys that I've talked to that have run some diagnostics on other houses, they said that uh, Gilbert's work is some of the best in the area. So. I love it. Love to hear that. So we're, most of the time, our houses that we're, that we're doing the HVAC work, we're about half of what the, uh, the minimum requirement is, or pardon me, the maximum requirement. And uh, also a big difference we're talking about on um, most of the new construction we're doing, we're using metal duct work. This house is 100% is flexed up, up in the attic. Right. Um, but I think we're gonna be able to get Gilbert's crew in here, and we're not replacing the ducts on this house because they're fairly new and they're in pretty good shape, but I think we're gonna be able to tighten the system down again. And we'll see Tim and his crew uh, back here in about nine or 10 months when we finish this project, and we'll retest everything so that now we have a benchmark. Thank you for your time, Tim. Looking forward to seeing that blower door test. Thanks, man. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day.